How to create a Facebook account. Applicant screening on the World Wide Web. Presented by Young Conaway, Stargate and Taylor, located in Wilmington, Delaware, and the Delaware Employment Law Blog, located at www.delawareemploymentlawblog.com. So, you're thinking about screening job applicants on Facebook or MySpace? Well, you are not alone. This is a current hot trend with HR professionals across the country to research uh, job candidates and applicants on social networking sites. In fact, as many as 42% of employers use online searches as part of their hiring practices and 35% of employers search social networking sites such as MySpace and Facebook. So, if you want to give it a try, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a Facebook account. You have to be one of them. What's that? You don't have a Facebook account? Don't worry. It's easy. Here's how you set one up. Just log on to Facebook.com, enter some basic information about yourself, create a password, and enter the random security numbers, uh, security words. Then Facebook makes sure that it is actually a real person and not a spam bot trying to register for an account. Once that check is complete, it will send you a confirmation email. You get that email and you click on the link uh, to confirm that in fact you do want the account and you're just about set up. The next step is to enter uh, your email for contact purposes and anyone in your contact list will that has a Facebook account will be added to your friends list in Facebook. You can also enter your high school, your college, or your company where you work so that you can add people who share the similar, uh, similar backgrounds to your network. You can also use your city or your town to geographically find a network and join that as well. Now your account is activated. You can add friends, you can search for friends, and you can edit your profile. Now let's just say there's a job candidate who is applying for jobs at big law firms and he is frustrated with the application process, which can be very difficult. So he decides to communicate his frustration in his Facebook book account using a status update. As you can see, Bob is getting wasted filling out job applications to stupid law firms. Bob unfortunately does not know that his Facebook profile is public by default. If, you, if he wants a more private account, he has to click the privacy link in the top right corner of the screen. So when you go in, unless you specifically edit it to be otherwise, your Facebook profile is going to be public. Here are the default settings when you establish your Facebook account. Your information is visible not only to your friends and anyone else uh, that you invite, but also anyone else in the same network, such as your geographical network with your town and your state, or your high school network, your college network, or your company network. Jane who is a hiring partner at one of the big law firms in New York City where Bob applied for work has decided like many other hiring partners across the country to check out their app, her applicants on Facebook and MySpace. Now Jane of course does not really care about Facebook for her own personal use she only wants it for her professional use so that she can verify job applicants and to try to get the background information of candidates. Although Facebook only allows you to make a regional network change once or twice every 60 days, you can always just create new, uh, new Facebook accounts by using different Gmail uh, or other email account as your, uh, as your basis. For example, Jane has a New York, New York network because she works in New York, but if she wants to join the Wilmington, Delaware network, which is where Bob is joined, all she has to do is just enter her current information or she can create a new, new Facebook account using a new Gmail email address. That's all it takes for Jane to become a Wilmington, Delaware resident. 
even though she's not. Now she's ready to find Bob. She searches for Bob Johnson, then she narrows her search to Wilmington, Delaware. Lo and behold, Bob never changed his privacy settings, and this is how his profile looks to his potential employer. As you can see, at 11.15 in the morning, Bob is getting wasted, filling out job applications to stupid law firms. If you want to do a background check on job applicants using social networking sites, just remember the following. You need to know the sites, you need to create an account and join the right networks, and as best practice, you should decide in advance what is relevant to your search. And of course, treat all candidates equally. If you do search Facebook or MySpace for one candidate, you need to search Facebook or MySpace for all candidates. That's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. You can see some of our other videos at www.delawareemploymentlawblog.com.